Okay, ready to continue. Uh, the Maime, we're up to Yudal of Nisan, the 11th of Nisan, Tav Shemem Gimel, which is 1983. We finished last week the uh, first page, the first full page. So today, tonight we're up to the, um, the Hemshech, which is on page 1200, beginning on the page 1200, which is the third Amud of the... Uh, Third on the uh, side of the Maimon, as the discourse. Up till now, the Rebbe discussed the union of Mitzrayim in a spiritual sense. Spiritual sense, it is that a person has an Aveda that he has to work, serve Hashem, serve his Creator with his mind, his heart. And from his mind, from the meditation in the mind, it comes down into the feeling, emotions into the, in, of the heart. And in order that from the mind it should go into the heart, there is a need of a Meitzar HaGorin, a Meitzar HaGorin, which is the throat, which is the bridge, bridges together the mind and heart. And in order that it should, it should, uh, it, it should go smoothly, so this is when, the, the, on one hand, the Meichen, the intellect of a person, is actually in a very calm way. On the other hand, the excitement, the heart, the emotions is in a more chaos, in a more loud, loud uh, note. Uh, the union of me, this, and therefore, in order that the meditation of the mind should direct a person and ignite his emotions, so he needs the uh, he needs actually the meitzar agorin, which is the buffer between mind and heart. And when there's a buffer between mind and heart, so then there a person could accomplish that the meditation in the mind should ignite and bring out the emotions. So this is called, in Lashon Achsiris, it's called Meitzar HaGorin. It's the Meitzar HaGorin, the Meitzar, the, the through way from the Gorin from the throat. So now the Rebbe continues, actually we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll do 1199, uh, the last paragraph, Hine Yove. In order that a person should be able to reach from the level of meditation, from the stage of meditation, to the stage of decision in his mind, which means it's not yet emotions, but it's decision in his mind, which is called, in a sense, midas Midas, in English it has no time, midas means emotions in the mind. What does it mean? That the beginning, how does it become that emotions in the heart begin is because there's already some lead to it in the, in the mind. In the mind of the person, there's already a direction. A direction, for example, there is a shefer, there's a judge, and then there's one that enforces the law, a shaiter, a law enforcement person. A shefer, the judge, is the one that just gives out the verdict. But before he gives out the verdict, he has to hear all the, the, the sides. And uh, once he hears all the sides, so then in his mind, he can already form an opinion. The opinion is either chesed or gvura. Or it will be good, positive, or gvura or negative. So basically, this is all in the mind yet. And this, in Lashon said this is called that the midrash of the the emotions in the, heart, in the mind, is the source for the seichel in the emotions. Which means that the emotions in the mind, which is the direction that the mind will take, am I paskening it's kosher or it's not kosher? Am I paskening it's mutter or it's <coughs> This is already the source for the next step, which is in the heart, what guides the emotions? The intellect. So this is already called the seichel shebemidus. In the heart, it's called the intellect in the, uh, uh, in the emotions. And then there's emotions in the intellect. The emotions in the intellect is the direction of the intellect. The direction. No feelings yet, but just direction. Then comes the... From there comes the intellect of the emotions, guiding the emotions that they should be in the right and appropriate way. Because in the world of meditation and shaklevitaria, uh, uh, discussion in in seichel yesh mem tasponim the kan mem tasponim the kan. There's 49 this way. There's 49 opinions that way. In other words, they can also either be to the right or to the left. 
the achlota, the decision and the maskona, the finalization, is the inyan of a yerida. It's the inyan of a descent. In other words, for the seichel to come down, <coughs> or at least to, or, or even to come to a decision, is already a yerida. Because already it is not any more intellect, it's already the beginning of emotions. It's direction. And there, a direction and, and eventual development of emotions. So therefore, it is already a descent for the intellect. This descent is still in the world of Seichel. It's still in that same world, which is the world of intellect. <coughs> but it's a descent in that world. In order that the decision in the mind should convert to become a midrash which is completely a shinu yamahus, it's completely a different essence, a different, uh, like sort of a different material. It's two, two different materials, mind and heart, um, intellect and emotions. So this takes time. In other words, this, this, this is a time duration, vishinu and a change, viyiride and a descent in the quality of the intellect. Va- one becomes the other? So the Vartas it doesn't, it's not that it becomes the other, it's just that it, 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 it goes into the, uh, it like ignites the second thing. Right, it's like a match, I mean this is how it's understood from Amarim, it's like a match that's thrown into a flammable area. So the brain is throwing in the match and the heart becomes excited. So there is a shino yamahus, there's forte shino yamahus, in order, because there are two different channels. Mind and heart are two different channels. In order that they should be able to connect to each other, there needs to be a certain fuse to, a fusion between them. And in order that there should be a limitation of the mind, a symptom of intellect, in order to allow space for the uh, allow space for the uh, uh, for the heart for the emotions because emotions and mind together cannot both function at the same time. If, if the shofar <coughs> is making a decision, that's an intellectual decision. I don't see where the emotions are involved. Because he's giving out a verdict. The verdict is already the chesed or gvura. Oh. Chesed or gvura in a person's emotions in halacha, it's kosher or or or, or aser. Or, or muter or osir. It's like it's, there's already a mida. It's considered a mida, but a mida as it is yet, how Seichel looks at it. Should we be strict or should we be lenient? Then yeah, it comes down to emotions. But it's not an emotional decision. It's, it's a, not an emotional it's decision. decision. It's, but it's already a direction of emotions. It's already going to be an expression eventually of emotions. So that's the connection to the heart? So that's the, no, so that's the Midrash, so sometimes it's mentioned that the emotions in the mind is already the beginning of the intellect in the emotions. But here, we're speaking that it's completely, Meitzar Agorin is the process itself. So Till it comes to a stage where the Midrash itself Becomes excited. It, we, we, it comes to a stage that you come to a midah, you reach a midah, an emotion which there is mamish excitement, which is exactly the opposite of intellect. As the Rebbe brings it in the Yem Yem, that the intellect, that ma intellect is the union of meyushiv, is yashvus, settled, and the heart is the union of chaos. And mispailus, and mela, and then you need a person has to make the bridge to connect one to another. As the Rebbe mentions it in Shvat, in Yud Beis Shvat. Yud Beis Shvat. Uh-huh. There is a Yemim here. There is one. <laughs>